Happy New Year's Paranormal Geeks. My name is Brandon and this is Geeked Up Paranormal. So this is going to be my first video on this channel on YouTube. And pretty much I'm just talking about this channel. What I'm, I want to do with this channel. And how I'm going to move on forward with this channel. And things to come. So obviously the channel is called Geeked Up Paranormal. Because I am a geek about uh paranormal events and situations um, so pretty much with this channel I just want to go out and investigate paranormal locations or haunted locations as people call them uh, and also I want to document it and pretty much try new things uh, see how I can communicate with uh, entities or other things beyond this world and try out experiments also if I do an investigation and I get absolutely nothing I'm still gonna post the investigation because I feel like it would be better for me to post the invest even the investigations where I get nothing on to show you that I'm not faking my videos and to show you that every time you investigate you may or may not get anything at all now I have previously uh, done some investigations uh, my first investigation I've done was with me and my wife in a cemetery and let's just say it didn't end very well we got very frightened and we jetted out of the cemetery In that investigation, pretty much, I'll show you bits and pieces. Like I have it written down, uh, what I've captured over the investigation. I'm not gonna show you the whole investigation due to the fact that it's very annoying because I kept repeating the same question over and over again. Uh, a lot of loud noises. And then pretty much what happened at the end, it didn't get filmed because we got scared and turned off the camera and ran. Well, with the first investigation, uh, we got a possible orb. It still could be a bug. I'm not for sure, but I'll show you. And then I'll show you uh, a clip or two of bugs. So you decide if this orb is a bug or an orb. his life in this graveyard here with us. I would love to speak with you. To speak with you. Alright, I'm going to listen to this and play it back now. I'm going to give you 10 more seconds after I'm done talking to see if you say anything you want into this. If you want us to leave, we'll leave. Alright. Is there any spirit that so what do you think it is? And then, after the uh, the next thing I've got, I got pretty much a spirit box. I use a spirit box. Also tried a uh, voice recorder. Didn't get anything on it. But with the spirit box, I asked several questions. I also asked them repeatedly. So uh, this investigation, I'll probably never put fully out there. I'll just show clips of it, but we got answers to some of our questions through the spirit box, and that's probably the only evidence we got that we can show forth, uh, other than that possible orb. And then towards the end of the investigation, we was hearing noises through these bushes, and these bushes was probably a football field away. We was hearing the bushes like being moved and the brush moving. We was thinking possibly somebody homeless or another human being, something or another. Well, pretty much we heard it and heard it and heard it and then we didn't, like it just felt like somebody was coming, walking through the bushes and started walking our way. So I turned and looked that way and my uh, wife, she was behind the camera. She turned the camera that way with the light 
and turn the camera off and the light off because she didn't want to put the light in somebody's face and put the camera in their face and they get mad at us. But they were still probably about, I would say, 75 yards away from us. And I was hollering at them, hey, what do you want? Stop coming towards us. Uh, I can help you. Just let me know. But they didn't say nothing. And it was an all-black figure that was walking towards us. It could, uh, it could have been somebody dressed in all black. I don't know for sure. But we didn't see eyes. We didn't see teeth. We didn't see nothing. Besides, uh, the person was probably... It looked like they was about seven feet tall. I'm six four, six five, and they were tiring over me. But the figure kept walking towards us, and absolutely, we just jetted. I told my wife to go to the car. She ran to the car. Then, after she got in the car, I ran to the car, and we just we left. Uh, it was kind of scary because I didn't have anything on me to protect me and my wife from this possible person that was coming to harm us because they wasn't answering any of my questions. They just kept coming towards us. And then after that, um, if it if it wasn't my wife and it couldn't have been a possible like an evil spirit or entity of some sorts, then I had nothing really to fight back against that at that time. So that was kind of spooky. And when I said we left out there, we, we just pretty much we drove across the street, gathered ourselves, and then I had to go back because I dropped uh, I dropped the back of my EMF meter and batteries and I went to grab it because I didn't want to have to have duct tape on the back of my EMF meter. To me, that's, I don't, I don't know how to put it, but it's just something I don't want. I would, I would have to buy me a whole new EMF meter and I saved myself about 30, 50 bucks. Are there any uh, spirits nearby that would like to speak with me? Say yes, please. If there's any spirits here, What's my name? So pretty much I'm going to show you the equipment I have right now. Uh, I have a Sony 4K camera, uh, which is what I'm recording on now. It does have like a cheap mic on it. Hopefully the audio is good. It's got a big light on top of it right now um, I have the small tripod either for that camera or my phone if I want to go record with a small light also on the camera I do uh, have a infrared light and the camera itself has infrared infrared on it it can film at night time uh, so here's my SB7 it's a spirit box. Pretty sure you know, especially if you're watching me in this channel. Because you're a geek in the paranormal. So I, I'll probably do a more ex, in depth explanation of each of these devices and use them by themselves on their own investigation and nothing else in other videos. And this is a speaker I'm going to be using with it. Also, I might just, if I don't use that little one, I got a big. $200 speaker right there I, I may or may not use with it um, I also have a, a Vista voice recorder I can either with this I can do voice activation or pretty much just let it record out which I prefer just to let it record out because the voice activation it's like it uh, uh, at the beginning of it and I don't like that and so far, I don't know if I've caught anything on this or not. Like I said, I've done previous investigations. I do have some audio clips that came off of this, and I've looked at them. But I'm waiting for other people's 
opinions on it before I say it was a paranormal EVP. Also, on my phone, I have uh, the Necrophonic app. I don't know if I'm a fan of it. Uh, when it comes to phone apps, I think it's all fake. It's all AI. And if it's not AI, I mean, I just, I don't believe in anything coming off the phone. I feel like it's all fake. But I might give that a try in its own video. And I'm going to do tests with it because I'm going to ask questions that I'm, I'm pretty much not even going to speak near my phone until uh, the time comes I ask the questions. And then I'm going to ask specific questions uh, looking for specific answers that are not just questions like what's your name and it just spout off a random name. Uh... I'm going to just do tests to make sure see if Necrophonic is real or possibly fake. And even then, it's just going to be my own opinion because I don't know. I mean, somebody could probably run the app and uh, run the coding on it and tell me more, but I don't have the money to pay me to, uh, for someone to do that for me. Now, I do have a EMF meter that... is in the car um, I'll show you that probably in an investigation or something and pretty much that's all I have right now uh, for his equipment uh, I'm looking to get an SLS camera soon hopefully I do alright so now I'm filming on my phone real quick because I want to show you my camera and kind of set up it's on a tripod um, a lot of hair all over the mic so this is the camera uh, like I said it's Sony 4k it shoots night vision um, this is the big light that's the infrared light let me know how you think the audio is with this mic uh, it's not good you don't think it's not good I might not use it or I might get a better mic but the better mic would probably be down the road uh, this would be pretty much what majority of videos are shot with uh, now my EMF meter I just had it this is my EMF meter up here see it's going off because I'm recording with my phone and it's near my phone phones do make it go off now while I am recording with my phone besides right now but like during a paranormal investigation it will be on airplane mode and if I'm using the necrophonic app I will not be using the EMF meter because I won't be uh, I don't know if I'm able to use the necrophonic app on airplane mode probably probably am I don't know but I will not be using the EMF meter when I'm using the Necrophonic app. And if I do use this while I'm recording with my phone, my phone will be on airplane mode. So it will not be set this off. So this is where the Millie Gals. It's not on Millie Gals right now. So this would be where Millie Gals pop up. And that's the temperature down there. And yes, it alerts when the Millie Gals uh, goes off. And if the temperature dramatically changes it will start alarming too there are different modes on this um, and also I can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit I actually like the CMF meter but I'm probably gonna I'm probably gonna stick with the CMF meter because it tells me the temperature in milligals reading also I do have one more thing I do have a Ouija board yes I've used it before but I've never never gotten anything off of it I know I want to do an investigation about Zozo on it 
and hopefully he comes through. Hopefully the Ouija board works. I'm actually skeptical of Necroponic app. Any phone app. Definitely, definitely uh, SLS ghost apps. Because I feel like it's a lot of false readings. If it's if it's on, on the phone. Um, there's a lot of stuff I'm skepti skeptical about. But, you know, everybody's a skeptic until light went out. I highly doubt that was paranormal. They probably just died. Um, I'm everybody's skeptical until you're a believer. Nobody's gonna believe until it happens to them. Uh, now I am an amateur investigator. As of right now, uh, I do have a lot of knowledge on about paranormal, and I do do a lot of research. But when it comes to paranormal, it's about it's 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 like life. Everything is a hypothesis. There's always something new to learn about it. You know, nobody can be a true know-it-all. Like I wish I was about the paranormal. So that's pretty much all. It's all my equipment I have for right now. Um, Oh, yeah, that up there, that haunted doll, well, that doll may or may not be haunted. Um, I did a Reno Nautica video I haven't put out. Uh, it was pretty, supposed to be a how-to Reno Nautica video, and first thing came to my mind was a haunted doll, and pretty much... I found that doll in that Renonautica video, uh, but it was also like five feet away from trash bags and stuff, so it could have came from that trash bag. I'll probably put that video out eventually. Also, I do have a clown doll. Let me show you the clown doll. Well, well hold on. Let me show you this doll. This is the doll found Randall Nauticking. I don't know if it's haunted or not. I'll probably do an investigation on it eventually to see. I put it back so where it won't move on its own. So if it does move, something moved it. Oh yeah, another paranormal experience I've had was with this doll. Now I do have, I keep it in a concealed uh, container. I mean, I doubt it. It's not a protected container, so if it's on it it can probably escape it or you know so this is the clown doll that I think is haunted reason why is because when we come home it has switched locations on us and nobody moved it and I'm talking about me and my wife literally seen this doll in a location in our house before we left and we left probably good the whole day came back and this was like up in the basement ceiling instead of the shelf it was supposed to be on uh it also has escaped the container once i mean somebody could be moving it around or it could be moving around itself but the thing is i wonder if this is haunted or if this is haunted because we took this away and that's when this doll started moving. Like we put this ball somewhere else instead of in the container it's in. And this doll started moving around.
And when we found this doll, this ball was with it. So, I wonder what's on it. I never thought about that until just now. But this is, could be on it or this. But that's a creepy clown. So this is the container I keep it in. It's like a cookie, animal cookie container. That in there is a doll I made that my dog chewed up. So I got to fix it. But it sits in there with this clown. And no, the doll I made is not on it. Uh, I was going to do a ritual with it that, that you're supposed to make the doll, put a fingernail of hair in there, some blood. But I didn't put anything in there. I just made it and my dog chewed it up. Gotta fix it. So other videos I'm looking to do on this channel is Dybbuk boxes. I will not buy them off eBay. I'm gonna find somebody that I know that's in the paranormal that has Dybbuk boxes. I actually know a couple of people. I'm not gonna buy them off eBay. The majority of them are fake. I wanna say all of them, but who knows? I mean, Zach Bagans, his came off of eBay. I don't know if he bought his off eBay, but it was bought and sold on eBay before him. Um, I wanna do rituals that are controlled. And when I say controlled, I'm talking about knowing how to open it and close it uh, a priest or something someone there that knows how to uh, do exorcisms um, also do like haunted object investigations uh, pretty much anything you think of it it's a video I want to do because I'm geeked up on the paranormal and if there's a video you would like to see me do just leave it down in the comments and I'll do it. Unless it's something that I can't handle or don't know how to do. But I'll end up learning it or find somebody that knows how to do it. Well, this is Geeked Up Paranormal. And I'll see you next time.